All right, we're going to do a review today of LastPass, LastPass.com, the last password you have to remember. I've been using LastPass for quite a while, remember all my passwords. I really like it. It works really good, very secure. Use local only decryption. And why that's really important, that means LastPass can never be compelled to give up your password. They don't have it. Once you set your master password phrase, they never get it. I've got a quick website I set up here as a demo. I'll show you how it fills in forms and creates passwords. Uh, any new website you go to, you're prompted with a form, first name, last name, username, address, etc. You can simply, in LastPass, hit fill form. Now, right now what it's doing is prompting me to unlock my master password. I advise when you set LastPass up, you use a very strong master password phrase, um, not just like one word password. This determines the strength of how people can get into your account. Sentence works really good too. Uh, find some series of phrase, you know, I like the beach, maybe something a little more complicated than that, uh, but a phrase that's a little bit more difficult than your usual just typing in a password. Uh, make sure it's easy for you to remember. You're going to be typing it every time you log in the last pass. But because it's the only password you have to remember, it's a lot easier in the long run for managing as many accounts as you have. So now I've logged in, comes right back to the page, and auto fills in all my information. Because it's a new to LastPass, this is a new website. So it's filled in, and then we go here to generate password. And you can see it generates gibberish. You can choose the length of the gibberish. If you need, it goes all the way up to 100 characters. Some sites do not support that long, so you do have to uh, match these settings to the rules of the website you're logging into. Some websites don't allow you to use some special characters. Just uncheck that box. Upper or lower case, if some of them require two digits, just hit the two and there's going to be more than as many digits as you put in here. Uh, if you need to make a pronounceable password, it's got that option. It's a little bit less secure as so it shows your strength here. Uh, but it comes up with a word you can kind of say. It's not necessarily going to be an English word and you can just keep trying it until you get something you like. So we hit use password. Now it realizes I haven't been to this site before, so it right away prompts me to save the site. So we're going to go save site. Now when we look in our LastPass vault, there is the some website. I can click here to edit it. It can keep a history of the passwords you've had for this site if you change them multiple times. Uh, it lets you view the password here. You can make notes about the site. You can say, don't autofill this. Require the prompt, the password prompt you've seen each time. Or auto login as soon as you go to this site for convenience. Let's pull up Facebook. I have more than one Facebook account, so this is how LastPass handles multiple accounts. Autofill will fill in either my business account or my personal account depending on which one I want to log into. I can also say auto login and that just fills it in and clicks the login button at the same time. Very simple to use. Also in your vault you can search through any of your websites that you have passwords saved to. Makes it really simple to find that. So if I want to see my Facebook ones I could go here. If I wanted to click on it I can go in here and click on and see and view the password if I want. I'm not going to show you guys my passwords. Here is where you do the fill forms. I only have one profile set up called Office. I can set up a personal one if I really needed to, but I usually register everything to my office. I don't need more junk mail going to my house. You fill in the address, name, contact information. Also has an option to put your credit card in. I like this a lot. It allows me to put my credit card in here and feel secure with it. Uh, LastPass can hold on to my credit card instead of each website. So when I go to pay my bills online, instead of the checking the box that says save my credit card for future payments, I don't need to. LastPass takes care of that for me. That way if the website gets compromised, they have they don't have my list of, uh, list of credit cards in here. I keep them all myself. So that's a basic quick tour of the LastPass system. It's really simple. It synchronizes between browsers as well. So any website that we add in here gets added to any other browsers, any other computers you have at the same time, or your mobile phone. Go in here, go on my LastPass vault, and it's already saved inside of here. Same thing, get a prompt. 
to log in and we can then go view it. This works the same. Any this now website will not show up on my computers at home and on my mobile. If you have any other questions about LastPass, you can reach me at Tom at LawrenceSystems.com via our website, via Facebook, via YouTube. Thank you very much.